Now, when I say the word recession, what are some key words that may pop into your head? You as, you know, just an average. Um, when you hear the word recession, what pops in your head, do you think? Homelessness. People are going to lose their homes, jobs, um, cutbacks on a lot of things. I think unemployment. Right. I'm thinking of a more of an economic as opposed to stock market. But no, absolutely. Because like, that's that's what we're programmed. Like yeah. that's when we hear the word recession, we think of all those words you just thought about. People losing their jobs, people losing their houses, horrible time to invest, stock market crashing. Yeah, I feel like it's the best time to invest because everything's at all exactly. time low then. Exactly. Right? Like yeah, exactly. Theory, like if everything's low. When I hear not? the word recession. <laughs> I don't even know where you're going. When I hear the word recession. You're taking on a mortgage. It, it is. People don't realize what's coming on up right here. People don't realize that this is going to be one of the best times that you are going to be able to make millions of dollars. Here's a fun fact right here. Most millionaires are made, are made the year after a recession, 2009, 2010, because everything is the cheapest. You hear again, the average person is going to be getting scared. Save your money. Don't spend. Don't invest. Take your money out of stocks. Don't again get involved in some. It's this is the best time. So let's learn about this. I'm a big numbers guy. I like to go off the stats. So when we do research over the past 100 years, the average bull market, which means we believe that the stock market is going to be able to continue to move itself on up, is going to last 9.1 years, is going to have an average return of 476%. And for those listening, bull run is up, bear is down. Exactly. The average bear, or let's say the average recession, is going to last 14 months and have an average drop of 41%. Now that's over again the past 120 years. Let's again repeat those numbers one more time, okay? Nine years of climbing with a 476% return compared to a bear market, which is going to be 14 months of dropping with a 41% decline. Tell me I can get Facebook for 40% discount, so like things like that. Exa like, exactly, yeah. but we only get it once a decade. We yeah. get it once a decade, and you're going to miss out on this opportunity. If you talk to anyone, let's say who is... Uh, who was over the age of 25, over the age of 30 back in 2008. I bet you every single one of them regret not getting into the stock market when it was at its lowest point. If you have money saved up, right now I'm saving a lot of my money. I'm saving a lot of my cash, not because I want to keep it in my savings account, because I know a lot of people would say, oh, you don't ever want to keep money in your savings account. I understand that. But because I want to be able to have that cash liquid for investing. Right now, the S&P 500 is down 15%. The NASDAQ, which is the tech stocks, that's currently down around 20% in a bear market at this moment. If we can see the S&P 500 drop anywhere near that 40%, I'm not even waiting for 40%. I'm going to wait for around 25%. You're just going to launch. And I'm launching everything because yeah. I know that, statistically speaking, I'm going to have the next nine years of growth. Nine years of growth with an average of 476%. But then would you be long-term investing still and then go, jump Absolutely. back into day trading? Oh, yeah. I you would see just, what I mean? Like, would yeah. you just be like, all right, I'm going to lock it in here at 25? Oh, I, I, once I put in money, I, I, I'm going to be I'm gonna be able to retire. I'm going to be set, you know? Mm -hmm. But we only get this opportunity once a decade. 